Hi, I'm Daphne and welcome to my Yin Yoga YouTube channel. Thanks for coming here today. What I want to do today is to show you guys um, some modifications and variations on the Yin Saddle, one of the most challenging of the Yin poses. In its most extreme version, it looks like this. You've either got your heels underneath your butt or you've got your heels outside of your hips and then you're easing your way down to the ground and then you're hanging out here for, you know, four or five, maybe even longer minutes. So yeah, it feels pretty good for me. Doesn't feel so great for a lot of people whose ranges of motion are different. So I just wanna show you some ways to do this with props to make it more accessible and safer. So we'll need a bolster and a couple of blocks or a few blocks and so in order to create some height in your upper body so that you can make this a little bit easier on your hip flexors and your knees, we're going to stack one block here and then we're going to stack a couple of blocks on top of each other right behind that first one. And then you're going to take your bolster and you're just going to lay the bolster on top of the blocks. You've got this angle here. So you come and you sit in front of the bolster. And again, you can either have your heels underneath your seat or maybe your heels move outside of your hips. Under your seat, you're gonna get more sensation in the tops of your thighs. Outside of your hips, you're gonna get more of that internal rotation of your thigh bones. So decide, and you'll know as you start to go down here, which way is gonna feel better for you. Slowly, you're gonna start to ease your way back on top of the bolster and let your legs relax. So the knees may separate, that's okay. Let your arms just fall out to the sides. You're getting that upper body opening here as well, right? So you'll hang out here for about three, four, five, maybe longer. And then to come out, use your hands to press and to slowly, particularly after you've been sitting in that for five minutes or longer, you're gonna to wanna to ease very slowly out of it. So if that doesn't feel good, you can always just start to roll yourself over to the side and come up that way. <laughs> if you don't have a bolster and if you don't have blocks, it's always an option. No. You're gonna take a stack of books. Most people still have books in their houses. I'm not saying everybody does, but most people do. So you'll stack the books just as we were stacking the blocks. Make sure that you've got the first section of books lower than the top section. And if you don't have the bolster, grab a couple of bed pillows and then place the pillows on top of the books. And then come in front of the pillows. And then again, start to ease your way down. And usually, this feels pretty good. So, not always. The other way that you can rearrange yourself here is to take this into a half saddle. So you bring one foot in front of your body and then you've got the bent leg on the other side. And then again, start to ease your way back. And this is a lot easier for some people to not have both legs um, bent in front of you. You might also, instead of bending the knee of the leg that's in front, just straighten it down to the ground. Okay. You would do that obviously a couple minutes on both sides. So if you've tried that and none of those versions works for you, you're like over saddle, never going to be able to do it. It's too tweaky on the knees or it's too much on the lower back. You move that stuff out of the way, grab a strap. Loop the strap. Generally, it's gonna be different for everyone. I've got one here, it's probably about two feet. And then instead of taking saddle, you're gonna come down to your belly as if you were setting up for your sphinx pose. And you're gonna grab your strap, bend one of your legs, wrap the, the one end of the loop around the top of the foot or the ankle, and then wrap the other end of the loop around the shoulder 
in the same size as that leg and then come into a sphinx pose. So here, you're still getting that compression in the lower back and then you're also getting that stretch to the front of the thigh of the leg that's in the loop. And then you can hang out here for a few minutes. And then when you're ready, release the strap, bring yourself back up. So a nice counter to saddle pose or that version of Sphinx is to ease your way back into a child's pose. The arms in front, the arms to the sides. Voila. So now, whenever you go to a yin class or you're watching a YouTube video and the teacher tells you to go into a saddle position, you can customize it according to the way that your body feels on any given day or according to what your range of motion is normally, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. Please feel free to post those in the comments section at the end of this video. Thank you and have a great day.